Hello, Jen here. So this is day one recovery of my CO2 eye lift treatment. You may have seen the previous videos where I had the whole face done with a CO2 laser. You can have a look at those treat that treatment and the recovery for that. But this little series of videos is just, I've just had the eye area done. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a journey for the next sort of three to five days just talking about the eyes. My aim is to share with you what my thinking, feeling and doing each day, mainly to give you a bit of an understanding of what to expect if you have this treatment um, and then also for you to sort of see if it's the right sort of treatment for you for your eye area. So there'll be some photos that I'll just pop in now of the immediately after the treatment it was very red around the area it was a very sort of intense sort of uh, treatment area it felt quite hot and quite stingy then um, but here today we're literally sort of 24 hours later to the to the time you know dead on and to share with you what am i thinking i'm thinking it's okay um, similar to when I had the other treatment I mentioned at this stage, Friday afternoon seems like a really good time to have this kind of treatment when you've got um, a free weekend. I'd had my full day and then literally four o'clock had the treatment, got home. I felt okay when I got home, a little bit delicate, we had dinner, you know, everything's fine. Nothing is, you're not in any pain. As soon as the treatment finishes, it's gone, it's just the heat that, that you feel in the skin. I slept well. Um, again, maybe a little bit more confidence this time because I sort of knew what to expect, but I slept absolutely fine. I didn't take any anti-inflammatories and I didn't take any painkillers. I woke up in the morning and I took a photograph, which I'm sure I'll insert there and share that with you. Just felt a bit puffy and a bit sort of sticky. The theory is you don't really want to touch it, so you're just sort of sitting there thinking, well, I don't know what to do sort of thing. But generally, thinking-wise, at this stage on day one of, of the eye lift, I'm happy. I'm really happy with the treatment. It was, it's intense enough, and I'm, I'm, I'm confident that I can manage the, the recovery process. And hopefully you can see, I've got a bit more light um, in here so that you can actually see the redness. But what am I feeling? Um, and with that, I'm probably feeling a bit trapped because I can't really go out and it's a sunny day and all that sort of stuff and I can't exercise and I can't sweat. So you've got that sort of feeling of entrapment within your, you know, I've done this to myself type feel. Skin wise, it's just starting to feel a bit dry. Not itchy, not irritate, not anything. It's just a little bit dry. To touch, which I have started to do, yeah, it's got that sort of sandpaper effect to the sides. And my eyes water a lot, so that tends to sting a little bit. And again, still, still no medications, no nothing at all. So what am I doing? Well, apart from doing my videos, <laughs> nothing. Um, so physically doing nothing, as I say, that links in with the feeling of a bit of nothing to do. But it's all part of it. Um, but um, to my skin at this stage, again, nothing. So it's a bit boring, but I think that's what's important is not to panic. Don't, for me, I don't like the idea of putting loads of things on it to keep hydrating it because it makes it moist. The skin's very clever. It's just gone through a trauma of being physically burnt. Sounds awful, doesn't it? But anyway, so it, it's just dealing with whatever, whatever it wants to do. Uh, and my skin has chosen to be crusty <laughs> and dry. But as I say, it doesn't feel sore. It's not stinging. It's not anything. So I'm just leaving it. I have got some cream that the doctor gave me for this treatment, like an antibacterial steroid type cream. You know what I'm like, things like that. I'm a bit hesitant, but I did put some of that on this morning. Um, I sort of haven't had a shower either, as you can tell by the wig. It, it's kind of, I'm a bit of a mess, but I'm just letting that roll really. I will probably have a shower in a bit or try and wash my hair, because as I say, I'm pretty confident that it's all right. And what I'll do is maybe put some of that steroid cream on this evening just 
to do as I'm told, but I don't feel the need to keep lathering, as I say, it with stuff, because yes, it's dry, but it's not irritatingly dry at this stage. So yeah, so day one, all, all gone well. I will report exactly the same tomorrow, and then maybe definitely, definitely for sort of three days, and then I'll probably report in at the seven day point once it all starts to flake off. But in general, yeah, I'm really, I'm all right. I'm happy, I'm enjoying it, and I'm glad I'm not at work, but um, I don't mind if the doorbell rings and the Amazon man rocks up. I don't feel embarrassed or ashamed of the redness, which hopefully, as I say, I'll probably zoom in for you to have a good look. All right, so I'll see you tomorrow.